We'll guide you through how to fix the Ethernet being connected but having no internet access on your PC or laptop. If you find this guide useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is super annoying so let's go and get started. You can go and see I've currently got the problem. So first of all you want to come to the bottom of your computer and click on search and go and type in network connections like so and go and click on it. You then go and get this pop up and you want to go and find your ethernet and go and right click on it and go and click on properties. You then go and get this properties pop up and you need to go and find internet protocol version 4. Go and click on it and click on properties. Now what you want to try doing is clicking obtain an IP address automatically and then click on obtain DNS address automatically. Then go and click OK and press close. Go and see if the problem is resolved. It'll take a couple of seconds and as you can see it now is. And now I can try using the internet and it should be working. If that doesn't solve your problem or it was already set to automatic, then what you want to do is come back to the internet protocol version 4 properties and you want to go and use the following DNS server addresses 8888 and for the alternative do 88 then 44. Go and click OK, press close and then go and see if the problem is solved. Hopefully it should be. If it still isn't, then what you want to do is go to the bottom of your computer and click on the start button and open up your network settings. To do that, you come over to the left and click on network. And then you want to go and scroll down and you need to go to the bottom here and click on advanced network settings. And then you want to go and scroll down again until you see the option network reset. So what we can do is run this and this will remove and reinstall all of our network adapters and set other networking components back to the original settings. So go and click on reset now. Your PC will be restarted so you just go and wait for that process to happen. After your computer restarts go and see if it's now working. Hopefully it is. However if it still isn't then what you should do is make sure your network is working on another device because otherwise it could be a problem with your network and you need to contact your ISP. Alternatively, try using another ethernet cable. I know some people say it's due to a faulty ethernet cable.